Guys, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Our full walkthrough here in our credentials. And this is going to mark part 51. That's right, guys. We just wrapped up one of our final main characters' side missions. Miss Judy, who we do, ha do not have any romance with, unfortunately. I know a lot of people were being hopeful for that. She's into the ladies. That's all I'm going to say. So, uh, she's not into my type, but that's okay. We still had a very meaningful friendship-based mission. Uh, it involved a lot of underwater exploration. That was pretty exciting and unique for the game so far. But guys, I'm making the executive choice to jump into the final leg of our main mission journey. I spent a lot of time with Rogue, Johnny Silverhand, Judy, and Pan Am of the Nomads. I am now ready to jump into the final stretch here. It's the point of no return, if you will. So guys, thanks for watching. Nothing left to do, but let's get to it! Alright guys, we are here to meet Hanako at Embers. The big corpo gonna see what we need to do to take them down hi boys yep that's right here's the point of no return in the game guys now this does imply we'll be able to do side missions after the main story is finished but it's saying we can't do anything else until we finish whatever this is and whatever this is implies it is the main finale so let's get to it let's jump in it seems that I have agreed simply by walking into the elevator there's embers here we go god I feel sick don't like this at all this porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news Can you chill for two secs? We go in, we talk, we leave. That's it. Oh boy, here we go, guys. Alright, Johnny's with me. She emptied the place. Shit. Yeah, Johnny. She emptied the place, dude. It isn't that fancy. She's playing on a piano. Excellent. You have come. Thanks for meeting me. Of course, B. And I thank you. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. We're not sure of anything. If you trust me, if your Nobu killed your father, now... I knew. From the start. You knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate. Inconsistent. Didn't do a thing about it. Why? You're no better than your brother. Got biz to discuss. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it. Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? He valued one thing. Corp, no idea, got business to discuss family power. Uh, family? Ties that bind. Yes, family. I was to be its heart. To uphold life, ensure continuity, stability, never to oppose it. Huh. 
Guess your Nobu's instructions were a little different. Yorinobu raised his hand against our father. But he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. Didn't say why you changed your mind. Mm -hmm. He's your brother. It's been hard. It'll be hard. Let's say I get that. But what changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yorinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger. Don't say a word. Nope, don't have it. Take me for a fool. Seem on edge. Something got you spooked? I... don't know. Three times now, that A.B. has flown by. Think someone might have tailed you? We must not get distracted. Did you bring Soul Killer? Take me for a fool. Think I'd fall for that. Got plans to walk out of here alive. Had I any ill intentions, I would have chosen a side far more discreet than this. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Meaning? Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Wanna leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. Sit. Sure know how to prick up my ears. Go on, talk. My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. <sighs> Sounds like you want to avenge dead old dad. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama. Soro-soro gojitaku ni omodori itadaite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Let's assume it works. Then what? You take the Arisaka throne? Where would you get that idea? Figured it as a given. Besides, Takamuru said you were supposed to step in for Yorinobu here in Night City. Everyone must know their place, V. That is a fact my brother has never understood. I know my place, and I have no wish to change it. No wish to, or no permission, you being a woman. I decide my own fate. As should you. So...
Want me to throw Yorinobu under the bus in front of Arasaka top brass? <laughs> Call me crazy, but that sounds like fucking suicide. This I know. And that is why we will take all the necessary precautions. Like, such as? You will see. Offers intriguing. Need to think about it. Naturally. But think quickly. Yorinobu is on high alert after the parade. He may harbor suspicions. We're getting the fuck out of here. Are you well? Yeah, yeah, it's just dumb. You are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. Uh, I'll think it over. Crap. Jeez. You could use some air. Right now. Oh, okay. oh dear. All right. Oh dear. Oh. Oh man, this is heavy. <laughs> I warned you. What? What are you doing? Shit, it could be hours from it now, Pete. And you can't stand on your own two feet. While well, I'm good to go, body listens to me. Oh shoot. See what I'm getting at? No. Yeah, I get it. I don't like it one bit. I'm still going Come strong. Come on, face the facts. Pop some pseudo endotrizy, scooch, and let me get behind the wheel. I'll get us to fucking Makoshi. Yeah? How exactly? Without that porcelain cunt's help, that's for damn sure. Don't stand a chance without help. Right about that. But that's why I'll bring Rogue. She's not rusted through just yet. Plus, she owes me. Maybe she'd have stuck her neck out for you half a century ago, but now, I don't see it. I'll convince her. After all, we know a thing or two about ops like this. We'll blast our way into Sokka Tower, just like we did back in the day. Then find the way inside Makoshi. It's our only chance. Oh, Pan Am. What about Pan Am? She offered help. Listen, I know you and Pan Am got a thing going. I get it. I do. But that's what makes it such a shitty idea. You don't want to rope her into this. Made the same mistake myself once. You don't want those people involved, their lives on the line, possibly on your conscience. Our one hope is sitting at the afterlife right now, and her name is Rogue. Hanako's offer's on the table. I'm sorry. Whose? Oh, cut the crap. She actually has power, could be our ticket. Yeah, one-way ticket to the city morgue. That Sokka cunt scrambled your circuits. Rogue and I will handle this, just like we used to. Rogue, I don't know. You honestly think it could work? With her experience, her resources, her connections. Won't find anyone better in NC. Johnny. It's gotta work. We breach the tower. All cracks open, Makoshi. Then I fuck up that. Great, you checking out again? <laughs> Shoot. What? Am I? No, it's not what you think. Not yet, anyway. Easy there. Don't move just yet. Vic? You're in pain, I know. Delirious when you arrived, so I had to dose you with beta haloperidol. But light oversensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. How... 
how'd I get here? Dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. Gave Misty a hell of a fright. Then you shoved my patient at the time off the table and demanded you be treated immediately. Delamond was your guardian angel. Huh? I, uh, wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. Just give it to me straight, Vic. You've come to a critical juncture. Try sitting up, carefully. Okay, but don't expect a miracle. Ah. Slowly. Ah, another victory for the history books. Something to say, Vic. Just say it. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? Yeah, and I'll try. What options do I have? How do you think I've been doing? Take matters into my own hands? The fuck you think I've been doing? Well, whatever it is, it keeps landing you on my table. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah, what about it? You'll find a last dose of pseudo in there. A gift from Misty. Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. Or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you and you alone. You heard him. We've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. Endotrizine. Rogue Sokka Tower. Only way this is gonna work. Give it a fucking rest, Johnny. It's my decision. And I gotta think about it. Need to stretch, stretch your, your noodle? noodle? Fine. Fine. Just not, Just in, not this in this basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. Oh, out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. Uh, uh. I think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first. Oh my goodness, okay. Going to, uh, take the pills? Uh, alright. Victor's Clinic. Hey V, I heard. Well, your thoughts? You shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy for either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure, lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. Oh, weird. Oh, man, we haven't talked about Jackie since the beginning of this game. Since the beginning of this journey. Top 
floor. Why does anyone press it for me? He had the same glum <laughs> face. Who, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm -hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but... He found the courage to bet on himself. After. I brought him here. Ah, that's more like it. Air. See that? I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Thanks, Misty. You were right. Choice spot. So what... What did Jackie decide of here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That what you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way. Just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. Oh shoot, that's an option. Crap, you guys know I have to make the call. I'm calling Pan Am. Pan Am. Just want to hear her voice. Sure as hell hope it's that and only that. Mm. Hey. Pan Am, hey. Do you know what time it is? S sorry to wake you this late. Is that why you called? To apologize for interrupting a good night's sleep? Something... Something I gotta do today. Gonna be high risk, big time. But I have to. What is it? It's not for comms. Not really. Then shut up and tell me where you are. In the city? Yeah. Okay. Then plant your butt somewhere and wait. I'm on my way. You don't get it. I... I can't wait anymore. This has something to do with what you were telling me before? It does. Well, I'll say one thing. There's always a way out. Here's what you need to do. You need to take a few deep breaths. Then rethink all this. Hard. And then you can call me back. Do you know why? Because I am here for you. But... End of discussion. Well played. Wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. Probably for the best. Would have said too much anyway. Was good you called. Wish I'd had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think. It all started in a fucking landfill. Mm hmm Then you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience.
Yeah, this one's a, a pretty tough one because I've spent a lot of time getting better acquainted with Johnny to the point where you kind of feel like friends, but uh, I also have that wonderful romance, and I'm kind of looking for <laughs> a happy ending. Uh, so I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm going to go with this. I'm going to try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. Take the blockers, yep, gonna do this with the nomads. Could also just put all this to rest. Oh, that sounds like a end it now scenario. Nope. Here we go. I'm gonna try this with Pen Ann. Got a feeling you're gonna regret this decision. And the moment that dawns, I won't be there to help. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out, uh... Just want to be there for it. Where? See you inside, Mikoshi. Johnny? Okay, just me now. Oh, snap. Oh, so even at this juncture, I could still call Hanako. <sighs> nope. I want to do the Nomads. Here we go. Ready to talk? Ready. I'm glad to hear that. So tell me. Need a way into Arasaka Tower. Now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny? I don't do something soon. I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well... Odd as it sounds. A prison of souls. A prison of souls? Yeah. This might not fly over the hollow. Mikoshi, that's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear, you've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. What? Okay. Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right, I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. Oh, snap. Head to Misty's Esoterica. Oh, I am very curious how this is going to go with the Nomads. <laughs> and Johnny not at the wheel. Crazy. Okay. All right. I guess we're going back down to the alley.